Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. people ej boss alive there was waiting for mr mr we're waiting for h money aka mr the zone we're gonna talk about devon haney you know devon haney tv um yeah man just waiting for h money to jump in she'll be jumping in a minute man and that card man he's, he's, he's already there already on the on the verge of again he's on a title shot so this is eliminator so coming up this friday Devin Haney should um, get that and you have an opportunity to fight for the championship of the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, H has he's been online and been saying it like this guy is going to be like equivalent to the next major ball. He's only 20. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he get this and hopefully get his title shot. You know, he's 21, man. But the thing is, he, his division is tough, man. Wait, what, what division he at, man? He's in a tough division, though. Uh, he's a lightweight, isn't it? Devin Haney. His nickname's The Dream, you know. He's from San Francisco, California. They know the champions born in South He lives in Vegas. So he's getting that mirror for treatment. He's getting that mirror for love down there, isn't it? So, you know what I'm saying? He's got. Uh... Yeah, man. So he going to fight this guy. Uh, is there Abdullah? So right now what we're just waiting for was waiting for a man, Mr. H Mr. H Money, aka Mr. The Zone. He says it's the best, he says it's the best, and he says it better than me. Let me just uh get the event out for me just things. I know the card is pretty good actually. The zone card. 
pretty good. All right, let me see if he's jumping. Yeah, he ain't jumping yet. So we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this by again, boys. So he jumps in. Just waiting for him to jump in for the chat so we can get this game. I should need to share this around. So this hang up should have happened actually ages ago. I've got a couple of interviews coming up this this week. Um, Ram Martin and I've got his manager um, Peter Pons. Uh, he manages a lot of uh, our fighters. So, yeah, man. That's what we've got. Let me share, 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 share this around, bro. I think I shared it around before, you know. But, you know, visibility and all that. Man, I fell asleep, boy. It was supposed to be this early. It was supposed to be this early on today, man. Oh, man. Let me share this with you, bro. Let's wait for Mr. H Money himself. And for you guys, as you guys come in, hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing, I'm playing up a tune while we're waiting for me to hit money, boy. Burn some time. Should be jumping in and set though. Let me see. Let me see if the kid jumped in. Nah, not yet. I'll play another tune while we're waiting, yeah? Guys, caught con, con, con your son. So, yeah, man, let's do this, bro. Let's get down some soul. I don't want to argue if we acknowledge the problem, then maybe we can solve it, man. He ain't got to speak. Oh, no, please don't bother. The pain too deep between you and me. Don't let it go no farther. I'll just treat you like my mother. You love me like your father. We barely knew our parents, so that made our job much harder. By the black people was brought up. Your love is what they taught us. We reciprocate that hate we learned. And somehow they still bought us. All we needed was some tender love and care. And here we are, man. Let's take money. How you doing, bro? Yo, what's good? You can hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Go ahead, introduce yourself, bro. Hey, yo, what's going on? It's your boy H Money, Mister the Zone, and we talking about Devin Haney. It's fight week, you know. EJ, he's definitely what everybody says the next Floyd Mayweather, brother, and they say he's the best young American fighter in the world today. Only at 20 years old, a multi-millionaire. Um, I mean, 21 wins, bro. I believe 21 or 22 wins. I mean, he turned pro at 16 years old, working at the Mayweather gym, working with Floyd Mayweather Sr. since he was eight years old. He definitely has the pedigree. I mean, we, we want to talk about fighters turning pro at a young age, EJ. I want to. I got a question for you. As American fighters, you know, just talking about American fighters, a lot of these fighters, they they turn pro around, you know, 20 years old. Most of these fighters turn pro after going to the Olympics. In the case of a Devin Haney, an American fighter, taking the, the Mexican route, turning pro at 16 like Canelo Alvarez. What do you think about that? What I think about it, nah, man. I, I, I saw his journey when I saw his couple of fights in Mexico because he was too young to fight in England. And, and I'm sorry, in America, nah, man. He, he done pretty. Well. He's doing pretty well. He's 20. So I was just saying, like, if he wins a championship, he'll. He, I think he'll be equaled, like, probably the second youngest at 20 to win a championship. But it ain't gonna be easy. He's division tough. It's lightweight. He fight at lightweight, right? Yeah, he he fights at lightweight, but. You know, he's a big lightweight, EJ, and he's definitely growing. And he's, he's starting to put on his man strength, and he won't be at 135 for too long. So just thinking about that, Devin Haney at 5'9", at he's, he's a big lightweight. And Lomachenko, 
Lomachenko had problems with Luke Campbell. People said Luke Campbell is a big lightweight. He's much bigger than Lomachenko. But what about Devin Haney, who's bigger than Luke Campbell? And he's ranked number one in the WBC after this this Saturday's win versus an undefeated fighter. Devin Haney's fighting he's fighting against an undefeated fighter, Abdul Abdullahiv. Abdullahiv, he's he's coming off of Ramadan. This guy, this is a mandatory match. This is for the number one contender spot for Lomachenko. And and Devin Haney, I know you heard about the tweet. I mean, everybody talked about it. Fight, fight hype. They have put it out where Devin Haney said he will beat Lomachenko point blank, period. And I believe in that. And it's it takes a lot for a fighter at 20 years old to call to call out the number one number one fighter pound for pound in the world. That's what Devin Haney did. Unlike unlike Javante Tank Davis, you know, Tank Davis, who's been I mean, he's been talking about fighting Lomachenko for about a good four years. And it, I mean, a good about three years and it's never happened. And now he's finally saying he's moving up to weight. He, he just relinquished a world title saying saying he's going to fight Lomachenko. But we all know the PBC, they they don't do business with Bob Arum. You know, they don't do business with that side. They they claim is the side of a street, EJ. Mm -hmm. 100%. Well, the guy is going with Zora, Zora Abdullahi. He's uh, 11 and 0. Um, they're fighting for the interim WBC uh, championship, lightweight championship. So, and, and Lomachenko just won the champ. So, the WBC sometimes, though, they take ages to give you title shots. So, hopefully, Devin Haney, they move it pretty quickly where he can get his title shot. But this is an eliminator. This is an eliminator. And like you said, this is 11 0. This ain't no pancake. You know what I'm saying? Let's go down to the record. We'll see with the Zuri, Zuri, Zuri Abdullah is fighting. I mean, the way he at, he's 25 years old. He's from Russia. You know what I'm saying? He got uh, our 11 wins. He got uh, seven KOs, right? Um, he got, oh, okay, he beat Alex by a uh, United nice decision. Huberto uh, Martinez, I don't know too much about him, but Huberto Martinez was 33, 8, and 2. Uh, Hank Lundy was 29, 6, and 1. Hank Lundy... That's that's a good name. Hanlon is pretty good. He's pretty useful, man. Um, because he just beat um Chop Chop Corley just recently as well. Hank Lundy did didn't he? I believe he fought against um Terrence Crawford. Was, yeah, yeah, he did. You're right, he did. He at 140, he fought at 140. Yeah, Lundy went to Russia for that fight as well. He lost by a nice decision, and and uh, his last fight coming in Herbera Martinez that he knocked him out in Russia. But the thing is, this kid's only only be fighting in Russia, so this is his. This is his American debut, bro. So he ain't trying, and he's 25, so he, he's experienced. He's five foot nine, so he ain't trying to lose evil. So this should be a wicked fight. Now we go with Devin Haney. Devin Haney's record, let me see Devin Haney. Devin Haney was 22 and 0. You know what I'm saying? He's 20, so he's younger, five years younger than the guy. And uh, Devin Haney stands at five foot eight, so the guy's are slightly taller. Um, and Devin Haney on his record, who you who, what's names you got? Shit. Who Devin Haney on his record? Yeah, Devin Haney. De De he just got his, his his last opponent was um that was a Antonio common Moran, Moran. Yeah, yeah. Antonio Moran. That was a common opponent with um Pedrazin. He fought against yeah, Pedrazin. There's a guy before that though. I'm looking at the guy before that though. He got 25 and 0. Uh, Devin Haney. Oh, he from, from South Africa. His yeah. name is uh New New Johnny. I can't really pronounce his name, nah, but undefeated yeah, fighter. Yeah, 25 and 0. He, he beat him, and he beat another guy before him, 33, 2 and 2. And another guy before him was 33, 2 and 2. So that's that shows some good. They stepped from 2018, he's been stepped up in the opponent. So I like that. I like the way he's been stepped up. Like he's all set up for Devin Haney to do his thing in Madison Square Garden for the interim WBC lightweight championship. And this is what it's made of, bro. Like they, they put him on a platform. Devin Haney, 22 and 14 KOs. Listen, bro, this is what it's made of. Yeah, we, so you pump for this joint, right? You pump for this. Absolutely. Joint. This is what I've been waiting for. And he just, let, let's not forget Devin Haney's last performance when it, it ended, which people say the knockout of the year. People say Devin Haney had the knockout of the year, bro, because his knockout against Antonio Moran was a one punch knockout. EJ, he knocked him out the fight. And Moran was out cold for about a good three minutes. 
He didn't get back up. He was out cold, unconscious. So Deontay Wilder's knockout versus Dominic Brazil, it was a great knockout. But Dominic Brazil had he got back to it. He got back up. He got back up to his feet, and the referee called it off. So Devin Haney, in my book, has the knockout of the year, and I'm looking forward to see how he how he performs in his second fight on Matchroom Boxing in the Zone. His first fight, his debut, like I said, it it, it, it ended in a in a spectacular knockout. So now we're looking forward to this fight, and it's for the like I said the. It's for the number one contender spot for Lomachenko, who's ranked number one pound for pound in the world. So this is what we want. Like you said, I'm pumped up about this. And also the future for Devin Haney. I mean, they saying he might be on the undercard of KSI and Logan Paul at the Staples Center, which yeah, is big. Right. Yeah, they're going to put him on. Yeah, Eddie Hearn's already confirmed that when he wins this fight, they, they, they're looking at it as a formality, even though it's not. But he definitely gonna fight on the card and that, and they're trying to say, um, yeah, they go, they gonna put him on that for a, for a fight to build help build his profile more on that. That's, fight. A, that's a good look. I think that's a good look, man. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Absolutely, that's a great look. And um, Devin Haney is from California. That fight is gonna be in in Los Angeles. Mm. So this is great, a hometown fight. And uh, I just want to say, I mean the. The the proof is real, man. Devin Haney is compared to Floyd Mayweather, who's considered to be the best ever. So, I mean, Floyd Mayweather Sr. Floyd Mayweather Sr. said this himself, EJ. Floyd Mayweather Sr. said that Devin Haney is the a, a, a carbon copy of his son, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather Jr. So even Devin Haney training with Floyd Mayweather Jr. himself, being in the ring with Floyd, Learning, being in a sparring match. He's the only fighter compared to Floyd who actually fought against Floyd. You know, Adrian Broner never never trained with Floyd Mayweather Sr., never trained with the money team. He, he, I mean, Devin Haney trained with Floyd Mayweather Sr. since eight years old. Okay. And then Tank Davis, another fighter who's compared to Floyd who misses weight. Devin Haney never missed weight. Floyd Mayweather Jr. never missed weight. So this is something you got to think about taking the sport serious. And th that's what Floyd Mayweather did. No matter what the antic was out the ring, Floyd Mayweather Jr. always performed. He never was drinking alcohol, never party. He took his, his craft ser serious. So that's where Devin Haney, that's where he favors Floyd Mayweather. And Floyd Mayweather, he he's a mentor to him. He, he, I mean, Devin Haney himself said there's a lot of similarity. So, I mean, just like Kobe Bryant was compared to Michael Jordan, that's the same thing with Devin Haney being compared to Floyd Mayweather. You know, Sugar Ray Leonard was compared to Muhammad Ali in the past, used the same style, and it was all good. It's, that's what it's about, EJ, passing the torch to the next fighter. That's what Ali did to Sugar Ray Leonard. He, he passed on the torch. And that's what Floyd Mayweather is doing with Devin Haney. So I'm definitely, definitely excited about this. Yeah, you definitely are, man. I'm not gonna lie. Um, when it came to this this week boxing, I was kind of over, like, we're kind of skimming over. But you definitely, I mean, I mean, you hit me up for a minute, man. So we gonna ride this train until to see where it goes. Devin Haney, the next star, and he's already getting a title shot. So like, you know what I'm saying? Well. This is Eliminator, so, you know, on a good card. So let me just read about the card as well. So you've got um, Heather Hardy on the card. She's going against Amanda Serena. Amanda Serena wants that. She's been looking for that fight with Katie Taylor for the longest. So they fight on the card. You've got Michael Hunter, who's supposed to, who, who, who's supposed to be fighting Andy Joshua before uh, Ruiz got in there. He wanted to fight him against Sergey um, was it Kuzman. And he's like, so they're both under, uh, well, he's got 15 and 0. Michael Hunter's 15, uh, 17 and 1. And the other names I already know about, like, I already know too much about them, but that's kind of like the, the three. So, Devin Haney in New York, Madison Square Garden, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, The Zone, Mr. Money, H Money. You know, so let me ask you a question, y'all. Maybe you might ask you, Mr. The Zone. Are you going to go down to, the, to California to go support your boy, Devin Haney? Um, I got to check what's going on on my schedule, but if not, you know, I like to watch the fight. I like to watch the fight, man, where I could just. You know, where I could enjoy the fight, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice big screen 
in my castle, man, where I could just sit back, watch my the zone fights. You know, I got the I paid the whole year for the zone, so I mean, I don't have to go really anywhere to, to watch the fight, man, and just enjoy a good fight, bro. Devin Haney, he's definitely in good hands with uh training with Mike McCullough, his father Bill Haney, working with Eddie Hearn, you know, so. You know, I, I, we, there's a lot of people that care about Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? I just want to let you know that, EJ. This guy is like, he he's, like I said, the next Floyd Mayweather, bro. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of, there's a lot of pressure on his kids. You know what I'm saying? And he's making it look easy. He's making it look easy. And de de since Devin Haney has signed with Eddie Hearn in matchroom boxing, his profile has went up. You know, I just got to give a shout out to Eddie Hearn. You know, Eddie Hearn in 2019, this this what I would say is the biggest signing. You know, that Eddie Hearn wanted to make a splash in America. And Devin Haney was the best American prospect on the market. A free agent. He's he self self built. He built himself up from the ground up at 16 years old, going to Mexico, fighting in Tijuana built his profile up and then this when when he was a free agent at when he was a free agent you know the price went up bro so now this guy's a multi-millionaire and you gotta you gotta think about the you gotta think about him also being the youngest promoter in the history of boxing ej at 20 years old producing fighters we all know about the great trainer kevin cuttingham I know you know about Kevin Hunt, Kevin Cunningham, who trained Corey Spinks, who was an yeah. undisputed welterweight world champion. You know, yeah. also he trained Adrian Broner. Uh, Kevin Cunningham trained work with Javante Davis. Um, you got and Devin you Alexander, also and Devin you. Alexander. He made a world champion out of St. Louis. So I mean. You just got to think about this, man. He Devin Haney's working with Kevin Cunningham's nephew. His mm -hmm. name is uh, his name is DC. He's under the the Devin Haney promotion. So this guy is building up champions, man. This guy putting put on putting on his own fights, working with Matchroom. This is big. You can't think of another fighter doing that at this age. I mean, Ryan Garcia. Hey, 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 Devin Haney's got his own promotion. So Devin Haney's already got fighters working for him. You already go fight his yeah, yeah. Kevin Cunningham's Kevin Cunningham's nephew. His name is DC. I believe is Derek Cunningham. Derek, mm -hmm. Cunningham, let, me, let me make sure he he's already like eleven and zero. I believe out of yeah. St. Louis with a great amateur background. He's under the banner. He's under the banner. Wow, that's some stuff, man. I'm have to try yeah. get. In. I'm have to get interview. What's his name again? Devin what? D Derek Cunningham. That's uh, Kevin Cunningham's nephew. His name is sure. Derek. Let me make sure Derek Cunningham. They okay, call him no DC. Right. They call him DC. Yeah, they call him DC. DC. He's always with Devin Haney. He trains with Devin. Okay. Let me make sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for you guys in the chat. Yo, keep, let me keep, keep the comments popping, man. I see all you guys up in there. You got fans here. Mr. Lazo's up in here. Devin Haney, the biggest signing. Kurt, Ward, yeah, man. Kurt Warden in the chat, and all you guys. Here. Keep oh yeah, his name is Darren. My bad, I apologize. His name is Darren Cunningham. Darren Cunningham, okay. Yeah, Darren Cunningham. You got to check him out. I want to see. You know, if you could work out interviews, these are the fighters you want. You talking about the next generation fighters, EJ? You talking about the future of boxing right now, man? The you gotta get on it. I mean, I'm happy that you, you are on it actually. So, you know, I'm happy that you you know that that these are the fighters you want to talk about, man. Especially Devin Haney, bro. The guy is a great fighter in and out the ring. EJ carries himself as a champion. You know, it's about being a champion in and out the ring. Like Shakur Stevenson, sure, he's a good fighter, bro. But does he it who's older, Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney? Shakur Stevenson is older. Who's making more money? Who's a multi-millionaire? Devin Haney making millions in fights. Devin Haney, the promoter, has his own fighters. There, you have Darren Cunningham, a future world champion. 
So it's obvious, obvious he's doing something right. And in and out the ring, Shakur Stevenson with his antics out the ring, bro, that's not good. You know, that's not good for your profile, knocking out innocent civilians. That's not that's not nothing Floyd Mayweather would do out the ring, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> are you talking about, are you talking about with his boyfriend the other day when they knocked out they knocked out the woman the two women and the guy? That yeah, that's not cool, bro. You know, you know, your hands are a weapon, especially when you're a professional athlete, a, a professional fighter. So, I mean, it's, it's about being a champion in and out the ring, something that Adrian Bronner failed to do, bro. Something that Tank Davis is having a hard time doing, bro. People want that Mayweather lifestyle, but they can't handle it, bro. So, you know, I just want it's to, it's another thing I want to talk to you about, EJ, um, it's in, you know, in a in the history of boxing, you know, like there was a Muhammad Ali, bro. He was like one of the first fighters that paved the way, you know, and and also Sugar Ray Leonard came after, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard came after Ali. And then after after Sugar Ray Leonard, I believe it was um, Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. had the, the torch. Roy Jones Jr. He passed on that torch to Floyd Mayweather, bro. And I mean, Pernell Whitaker was in there. Pernell Whitaker, it, it was Sugar Ray Litter. Sugar Ray Litter passed the torch to Pernell Whitaker, rest in peace, who, who just passed away. Pernell Whitaker passed passed the torch to Roy, Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. gave it to Floyd Mayweather, you know, and then Floyd Mayweather passed the torch to Devin Haney. Every decade, there's a fighter that comes, EJ. And, and 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 is another great champion. Every time there's a great champion that comes. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. I mean, to you, who who you, who you think is that great champion? In my eyes, Devin Haney is the champion that res resembles a young Roy Jones Jr. with the his reflexes and his defense. You know, boxing is the sweet science, EJ. Like Floyd Mayweather says, hit you. You can hit and not be hit it's about not being hit bro it's about taking the less punishment like floyd said and who does that bro who has the defense who has the footwork that's devin haney at 20 years old bro i mean there's a great champion in terence crawford no doubt no doubt about it terence crawford is a great champion you know mm -hmm. but but does he have that does he have that persona that persona in and out the ring that 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 gets your attention Hear what I'm saying? See that Russian guy he's fighting, yeah? Do you know much about him? You know what I mean? He might be a serious, dangerous customer. I don't know. How was Devin Haney? Devin Haney's quite young, yeah? So Devin Haney has had no amateur fights, has he? How many amateur fights did David Haney have? I'm not sure about his amateur background. I know he turned pro at a young age. I got to go back and check. Because he turned yeah. pro. If he's 16, that means he's amateur. He, didn't, he wasn't even a senior in, in things. So he's learning. No, he... Yeah, he's, 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 doing, he's doing pretty well. He's doing pretty well. Like he has some fights in the Dominican Republic. He has some fights, though. He did have some some amateur fights I've seen in the Dominican Republic, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying to you, this is what I'm saying to you, yeah? He's doing very well for what's going on. And I, I ain't gonna lie, they're doing, I think they're doing a good job of, of, of bringing them forward because this fight is really, it ain't his acid test, but it's very interesting because, like I said to you, like, the guy, this is, this is a seasoned 25-year-old who's come to fight. I don't know too much about him, but I'm expecting this to be a good, hard fight for him. You know, it's an eliminator. So, you know what I'm saying? I say for that big money, you know what I'm saying? To put him on the stage. So, you know, Luke Campbell, Eddie Hearn will give you a shot. He gave Luke Campbell his shot. Luke Campbell um, was double BC. Well, the double BC was, was, was vacant. And between him and Lomachenko, he picked it up, right? Loma picked it up. And now, Devin Haney's going to be on the verge. See, and I think um, what Loma wants to do, Loma wants to fight the winner out of Richie Comier and um, what's the goal? TFA Lopez, right? So, so whoever wins that fight, I think he wants to fight them after. And then when he becomes undisputed, I, this is what I expect, yeah? Lomo's going to be undisputed, then he's going to drop the belts down, and then I think he's going to go down to the Super Feather. And then I think there, there in life, Devin Haney can pick up the belts. I think that that more likely. But if that is not the case, Lomo keeps the belt, then you'll get a fight between Lomachenko and Devin Haney. How do you think that fight will go, um, Mr. Zazon? How do you think what, what do you think will happen in that fight? Devin Haney versus Lomachenko? Yeah. If that if that, well, was, if that I, mean, was I mean, that's the fight that we want. That's what I feel like Devin Haney would would stop him. 
he I feel like Devin Haney might stop him. Just knowing that Lomachenko been knocked down before <laughs> by a lesser opponent, you know, and also Lomachenko has a loss to Salido. So and also he, Lomachenko's only getting older, bro. So it's only it's better for him to fight Devin Haney while he's young. It is is something is an interview that that was done after the um the Maurice Hooker versus Jose Ramirez fight where okay. Bob Arum, I, I know you can pull this footage up. I know you can put it, pull it up. So, so it's a foot is an interview where Bob Arum says Devin Haney signed with the wrong promoter after that fight. But why would Bob Arum says that? I mean, why would he say that EJ? If Lou Campbell is, is Eddie, I mean, Eddie Hearn is Lou Campbell's promoter. That's the same promoter as Devin Haney. So why would he say that? And also Maurice Hooker is signed to Eddie Hearn and Jose Ramirez was signed to Bob Arum. So why is Bob Arum trying to duck Devin Haney saying Devin Haney signed with Eddie Hearn? That's the wrong promoter when Bob Arum is already doing fights with matchroom boxing in the zone. So, I mean, it's obvious he's trying to duck him. And he also said in this interview, Bob Arum out, out his own mouth said that Lomachenko will – he said he's going to make Lomachenko the the franchise champion, the w, the WBC franchise champion so he doesn't have to fight Devin Haney. The footage is out there, you know, and Haney's been calling him out. So they're trying to avoid Devin Haney, Lomachenko, who's ranked pound for pound number one. Uh, it's funny. Wh why is he ducking a 20-year-old? Is it because he's 5'9"? Is it because he's the next Floyd Mayweather? Is it because the defense? People talk about Lomachenko's footwork, but Devin Haney has the same footwork as a Floyd Mayweather, and nobody has. Nobody was fifty and old. Nobody has that record, but Floyd. So, 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 what people are gonna tell me that Lomachenko has better footwork than Floyd Mayweather, who's undefeated, and Loma, Lomachenko already has a loss? Come on, man. I mean, I don't know what what it's about. I don't know if it's if they're just being biased, but at the end of the day, the reporters on ESPN can't fight for Lomachenko. Bob Arum can't fight for him. Devin Haney wants that smoke. He's ranked number one. If he doesn't fight him, he's going to be a duck. So all that all that talk about pe people being ducks, let's just keep, keep that same energy with Lomachenko and Devin Haney. That's all. That's all, EJ. No, man. No, that's right. Well, well hopefully you know, all right, let's, let's do another matchup then. Let's say one of them guys beat um let's see one of them guys beat beat uh Lomachenko. How you think um Tiafimo Lopez versus uh, Devin Haney would go? Oh man, that's easy work. Tiafimo Lopez just struggled with an un unknown fighter from Japan, I believe, or somebody nobody knew about struggled with a bum. And I mean <laughs> Just think about it. Devin Haney will make him look silly. And there's plenty of rumors about the sparring session with with uh, Tia Fimo Lopez cloud chasing off of De Devin Haney's name because Devin Haney's a millionaire. Devin Haney has his own promotional company. And when Devin Haney seen them, Devin Haney approached them. And Devin Haney said, what's all that stuff you was talking about? And and guess what? Tia Fimo Lopez, he didn't, he didn't keep that same energy. Change his whole energy, bro, because that's what happens, bro, when you get in front of somebody, bro, that's clout chasing. And you know what? I mean, Devin Haney pulled this card. It's on fight hype. Everybody put it out there, bro. Devin Haney exposed him. And Tiafimo Lopez, I don't I don't think he, he can beat Komei. I don't think he can beat Komei, bro, especially after his last performance. And then Tiafimo Lopez tried to make excuses and say that he was going through personal things in his last fight when he struggled struggled against a bum. You know, Devin Haney never struggled against no bum. You put Devin Haney in that same fight with that with that guy, Devin Haney's going to have a knockout of the year like he did against Antonio Moran. 100%. All right, what about Richard Cormier? How you see that fight then? Yeah, I got Richard Cormier beating Tiafimo Lopez. Oh, wow. I Versus Devin Haney. How you think Dustin Cage? I don't right think he's the same thing with Lobachenko. Devin Haney beats him, outclasses him, bro. Uses his skills, bro. You know, EJ, sk skills, skills pay the bills. That's what Floyd Mayweather said. And you know, it's it's all about all about scoring points, you know, outboxing people 
copy box numbers, you know, controlling the copy box numbers, you know, the your opponents, your opponents, your opponents uh percentage, you know, they, they can't land punches on Devin Haney, bro. How you gonna win a fight if you can't hit them? You can't you can't even hit the guy. I want you yeah. to pay yeah, I want you to pay attention to that, bro. It's all about the sweet science, bro. You know, that's the law lo is lost lost in boxing right now. A lot of fighters they don't use their jab anymore. A lot of fighters don't use the, the footwork. But sh sh shout outs to Terrence Crawford, who he, he definitely has great skills. And Devin Haney, he even says that he, he likes Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford, he he has feet. Den Terrence Crawford used his feet a lot, bro. He he uses the ring, and I want to see him in big fights. But shout outs to Terrence Crawford, you know. Who who's Devin Haney's trainer? Is it is it's not Kevin Campbell, no? Nah? Right Kevin. now, he has a lot of trainers that he works with. He works yeah. with he works with Floyd Mayweather Sr. Mike McCullum, he works with Vir Virgil Hunter, but right now the, the trainer in the corner with him is his father, Bill Haney. Bill, ha Bill Haney has been learning from all the great trainers. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, boy, he's got, a lot of, he's got a lot of experience in the corner. I'm expecting a really good fight. So, you, for you guys don't know, this Friday, Devin Haney, yeah, he's fighting for the interim title against um, Zareb um, Abdullahi. So, we, we listen... And then they, like I said, you've got the main stage, Madison Square Garden, Eddie Hunt's pulling all, all stops out. That, you know what I mean, Mr. The Zone, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully, you know, Devin Haney, he's going to be the next, like, oh, yeah, Mr. Aaron said he's the next star of boxing. I'm looking for a really good fight. I mean, if he blows this kid away and he's sitting there waiting, I'm like, yo, bro. So, you know, this guy's undefeated Russian guy. You know, a lot of European guys are coming over. And like, I I'm going to say, who put it to you? If Devin Haney was to lose that fight, it would it be a massive upset, right? Definitely, definitely. But one thing about it, EJ, we don't think about losing. <laughs> you know, we don't think – yeah, it, for real, EJ is like losing he doesn't even cross the mind of Devin Haney. It's, you know, he will never lose, bro. He will never lose, bro. I'm telling you that, bro. The guy's a great fighter, you know, out of Oakland, California, you know, same place as Andre, Andre Ward, bro. A great fighter in Andre Ward, bro. A lot of similarities there. There's a lot of sim similarities with all the great fighters. Even an Andre Ward, a Roy Jones, Devin Haney's compared to Sugar Ray Leonard with the footwork, bro. The, the hand speed. You know, the punches and bunches, EJ. Even, you know... Sugar Ray Leonard is going to be on the fight. He's going to be at the fight, bro. Sugar Ray Leonard is a part of the zone, you know, bro. So Sugar Ray Leonard supports Devin Haney. You have all the great champions at his corner, even Zab Judah. Zab Judah, a great champion who was recently in a coma at the Devin Haney fight in his corner. He, he sparred against Devin Haney. You know, even Sean Porter. Devin Haney been in the ring with Sean Porter, been in the ring with Amir Khan. Get, getting Amir Khan ready for Terrence Crawford. You know, people people think Terrence Crawford is good, but Amir Khan, a former world champion, had Devin Haney in camp to get ready for Terrence Crawford. How'd so, that go? How'd that go? Sparring. Yeah, How'd the sparring go? You, the sparring was great, man. Just great work. And they, they I mean, I feel like they said Devin Haney had the be the better of the work. You know, at 20 years old, man, this guy's amazing. I mean, even Floyd, man, Floyd had to get in the ring with the kid. So that, that says a lot about it, man. You know, if Floyd been in the ring with Pernell Whitaker, too. Like I said, Pernell passed the torch to Floyd, and that's what it's about, bro. You can't name another fighter that Floyd been in the ring with. You know, he like I said, man, you got to be in the ring to learn those moves. People want to learn that shoulder roll. Everybody want to do it. But how do you learn it? You got to get with the Mayweathers. You got to get with Floyd Mayweather Sr. That's how De La Hoya, when De La Hoya worked with Fl Floyd Mayweather Sr., De La Hoya learned the shoulder roll, knocked out Fernando Vargas, knocked out Ricardo Mayorga. De La Hoya was at his best when he worked with Floyd Mayweather Sr. So shout out to Floyd Mayweather Sr., building great champions, a future champion, Devin Haney. Floyd Mayweather worked with. Floyd Mayweather Jr., 50 and 0. You think about De La Hoya, even Chad Dawson. 
Chad Dawson was a, gr a great champion. Steve Stevie Forbes. Stevie Forbes was a great champion. So Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather Sr., even Ricky Haddon, man, you th you thinking about great champions and legends all across the world. You know, P even em Emmanuel Stewart. Sh shout out to Rupski, man. Dang, you got my boy Rupski here. Dang, you got everybody in the chat. With yeah, your boy, hey, your boy's done turn up. Hey, your boy, hey, your boy's done turn up, man. Shout out to all the guys in the chat. They all turned up to come support you, man. Like, look, they're backing you, man. I'm backing you as well. I'm backing this fight as well, man. Like, this is Devin Haney's time. We ain't talking about no other fighter. And this is this is Devin Haney. This is your time to shine, to give you support. And we're going to continue this on the build-up. So what we're going to do, we're going to cover the weigh-in. You know what I'm saying? We're going to cover the press conference. We're going to cover all that post-press conference, weigh-in, media workout. Because that's going to be happening all this week. Um, I, get emails from, I get the emails from Matrim. So I know when the... Um, when all the press conferences are going on. So we're going to cover the whole week up to New York. If you ain't buy your ticket down there, buy your ticket. If not, y'all get watch it on Mr. The Zone, on, on, uh, on The Zone, Purchase The Zone. And, and that's what's up right there, man. Mr. H Money, Mr. The Zone himself. He, listen, he's behind uh, Devin Haney 100%. And I'm with him as well. I'm with him as well. Like, in the end of the day, we're here to support young, young, young fighters from America and also from the UK. And he's definitely one of that. Like, it's his time to shine. So we expecting a, I'm expecting a really good fight. Like I'm going to be honest with you, I can see this is a really tough test, man. I think people under the radar are kind of sleeping on this, but we're covering this fight well. And like you said, if he wins this fight, he's on the KSI and a local pool fight. How do you think that's going to be for his profile though, fighting on that card? Because like, if, 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 if he a young fighter as well, I think he could mix. You know what I'm saying? It's good to know that he's going to be around there. Eddie Hearn's making sure that he's got he's up and coming young the zone fighters on that card. But that's a good idea for uh, what Eddie Hunt's doing, right? Definitely, man. Hey, you know, it's a, you know, man, hey, people entitled to their own opinion. But at the end of the day, it is a big fight, just like the F Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor fight. It was a it was a big fight. So I believe this fight will be more competitive than the Mayweather versus McGregor fight because each fighter, are, they're making their professional debut. You know, Floyd Mayweather was 49 and over fighting Conor McGregor, who was making his debut. It was definitely one sided. So, this fight is the first fight, EJ, and it's a big fight. You see, when K KSI and Logan Paul put it out on their YouTube page, man, that shit is like at, I believe it's at like 10 million views. Like, just the promotion of the, the fight. They're talking about the zone. They're telling people to, you know, this is a big fight, bro. All these big fights are on the zone. PBC is really struggling. I feel like PBC, man, I don't know what they're going to do. I I can't wait, man, for AJ versus Andy Ruiz. This is a big fight, bro. This is a big fight, man. AJ versus Andy Ruiz. The zone is great for boxing. You know, pay-per-view, man, is not good for the sport right now, bro. It, I mean, and people talking about the zone is an app. And, yeah, the apps are the way of the future. This is how people – network now by using apps and also ej even espn had to come out with their own app the espn plus app to try to compete with the zone but we all know the zone is better because the zone offers no pay-per-views so espn plus you have to order every every ufc pay-per-view you have to order all the terence crawford pay-per-view fights the Tyson Fury pay-per-views, man. So the zone is winning the, at the end of the day. Shout out to Eddie Hearn, bro. Doing great things. EJ, I just wanna, I just wanna tell you, bro, my boy Rupski in the chat, man. That's day one right there. Great supporter, man. You you doing big things, man. You you taking over the sport, bro. You like I told you that the UK is a I love the UK, man. I support Eddie Hearn. I support matchroom boxing. Matchroom boxing is, is worldwide, you know, but we know it started in the UK. I mean, I to me personally, bro, I'm, I'm Mr. Matchroom Boxing, EJ. You know, I love what they're doing over there. I, I actually had conversations with Matchroom Boxing. I, I told them to sign Devin Haney. You know, I had to put in the call, bro. I mean, <laughs> everybody knows I help. I'm serious, bro. I help. I mean, Devin Haney got the at the end of the day is about the fighter and Devin Haney got the big deal and that that's what it's about. There's not an, another fighter that's getting paid at this age 
what Devin Haney is making. So, I mean, even Charlo is not making millions in a, a fight. Devin Haney's making more money than Charlo's. You know what I'm saying? Come, come on, man. We could look at the purse at the end of the fight. Devin Haney collecting more money than these guys. Mm -hmm. 100%, man. Devin Haney, Devin Haney, he's doing his thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's he's about money. Hey, EJ, who, what Mayweather say? Mayweather is Money Mayweather. Who is mm -hmm. Devin Haney? What's his nickname? The Dream. They call him The Dream, and they yeah. also call him New New Money. New money, bro. New money, bro. That's the new. Um, that's the new money. That's the new Mayweather. So, man, that he look. He kind of looked like him too. He he, he resembled him. He fight like him, and that's what it's about, man. Following the footsteps, you know. So, EJ, man, that, that's boxing. Boxing is a great sport. Boxing is here to stay. You know, for the re retired, who who is the one to take over? over the sport especially in america who, who was the one it was a it was a void there it was nobody to take over the sport yeah wilder wilder is good we love we love wilder but he he's a heavyweight you know what i'm saying hey yo bro it's a heavyweight like floyd he doesn't have that quick that quickness yeah, so Angel people Rose. love the sweet science. People love that. So who who's? Mm -hmm. I said Adrian Rona tried to try to try to try to fill that void. He tried to. Adrian, Adrian Brona. No, he tried. He Which tried one? to. You know, try to. He tried to fill the next. Yeah, voice he, for couldn't, he couldn't do it too much. Nah, but he was doing a writing tweet. He was doing a writing tweet. He was up now. Nah. He was, I like what he had it. He had it. I like what, but he's too far. He okay, I got questions for you. I hope they don't do that. Don't fight too well. But you got to think about this, EJ. You know, Devin, I mean, Adrian Broner was with Al Heyman. So Al Heyman was giving him the easiest fights to. He, even Paula Malinaji said it after the fight. When, when Paula Malinaji fought Adrian Broner, what did he say? Oh, he's with Al Heyman. So he won the fight. It was controversy. His best win against Paula Malinaji. Everybody thought Malinaji won that fight. So also, you got to think about this. Adrian Broner, when he won those world titles, who did he beat? I'm wondering. You, let's just think about it as, as boxing fans. We are hardcore boxing fans. Who did Adrian Boner beat for those belts besides Apollo Malinaji? Who that was a controversial win. So Adrian Broner fought against bums. So when, when he fought against somebody good, what happened? He got knocked, he, he got dropped when he fought Maidana. Maidana beat him, man. Beat him up real good. And then what what Mikey Garcia did to him. And then you got to think about Sean Porter. Like I said, Sean Porter beat him up real bad. Uh, Adrian Broner, we can't remember the, the last win he had. So he couldn't fill the void of Floyd. I mean, Adrian Broner already has about five losses. Floyd, 50 and 0, bro. You got to be undefeated, bro. You got to have this defense. Adrian Broner was, was flat footed. You know, he was flat footed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we're going to see Devin Haney stepping up with an uh, uh, undefeated Russian. I don't know too much about him. And, and then, like you said, he if he gets that fight with Lomo, she. You know what I'm saying? That that like that that's what's up right there. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, people want to see that fight. If he wins the fight, he get his, he get his tower shot. Um, the, like I said, the double BC they take they take ages, but it seems like he's been like Devin Haney's been moving quite quick, fast. He's twenty. He ain't hanging around. He was the, he was the making impression in in the, the division. What hey, did what the wait did Devin Haney start? I swear he started. Uh, was he start about Super Super Fever? He started. Was it yeah. I don't know if he started. He probably started at thirty. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he that. Yeah, I think he did that. I remember watching him on, on his channel because he had the Mexican fight because you know, obviously he wanted to turn pro because he turned pro. And I watched these fights on his channel, Devin Haney TV uh, on YouTube. Check it out. Um, I see the fight against the Mexican fighter. Like he busted him up, man. <laughs> he busted him up. You, but I, I see one thing, uh, EJ. I feel like. You've been watching Devin Haney for a long time, so that says a, that says a lot about your, your uh, boxing knowledge. So I'm just telling you, being in the states, Devin Haney, he is the fighter that 
that you want to watch. He's the fighter that you that you want to be working with. That's the guy you want on your channel. See, one thing about him, like he even has the smile, like he has the charisma. He has he has what it takes to be. He has what it takes to be a, a, a major star. You know what I'm saying? To be like a Mayweather. He has that Sugar Ray smile. He has the smile like a Floyd Mayweather, bro. So even Earl Spence, yeah, he's a good. He's more of a quiet champion. Earl, or like a, not like a, he's more a quiet. A lot of people don't know who he is, bro. He's about 10 years old. You know, he knows Spence. A lot of people don't know who Spence is, bro. That's 20 years old, he being on that side. Just Logan Paul, hard, bro. His profile, everybody, everybody is. After that fight, and then he beats Loma. Once he, he knocks out Loma, you know what I'm saying? You put that on your resume, man. He, he'll, he'll be number one, number one fighter pound for pound in the world at around 20 years old, bro. 21, he beats Lomachenko. 100%. Well, you put it out there, man. Well, and we, we we can talk all day about uh, about the fights. Any other news you want to bring up? Because like you know, what I'm saying like this this like you said, we, we put it out there that this, this this Friday. Make sure you check it out on the zone this Friday. We're gonna be there. In fact, we're probably gonna cover that fight live. Uh, me and uh, me and H Money and probably these we'll probably cover that fight live. And like I said, the press conference and the uh, sorry the media workout, uh, the press conference and the weigh in. And we're gonna cover the fight live. What was she like? I don't know, Mr. Zoe might be around because I know you probably want to watch the fight by yourself, though. But I'll be covering the fight live to see, you know, Mass Square Garden to see what happens. And, and then, like I said to you, this, this kid is the next big thing in boxing. And we look forward to seeing him, man. Anything else you want to add? It? Anything else you want to add for Mr. Zoe? Page money. Okay, then. All right. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, well, since you're going to do the, the live fight chat for my favorite fighter, Devin Haney, is only right, man, if you give me the opportunity to call the fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, definitely, man. I, I am going to be, I'm going to be extra hype man i'm gonna bring that i'm you know it's a lot of, like i said man boxing only one you know what i feel like man he gonna you in spectacular jay like in the last fight day by knockout 100 percent, man look man knockout, knockout of the year bro and also that that saturday the day after the the death haney fight ryan garcia ryan garcia is gonna what? fight bro and yeah, Ryan Garcia, and also you got Jaime Mugia. Jaime Mugia defending his WBO World Champion, bro. Uh, WBO World Championship, bro, at 154 at the junior at the junior middleweight division. This guy is spectacular, undefeated Mexican sensation, Mexican sensation. Because we all know it's Mexican holiday weekend. We forget you forget like that. You like Ryan Garcia? Yeah, Ryan Garcia on the undercard for Jaime Munguia. You, who you think of Ryan Garcia? Man, a great kid, man. He's a box office. We call him box office, man. The kid sells out crowds over 3 million followers on Instagram. Over 3 million, bro. That's more than... That's more than Tank Davis. So this kid is big, man. The, all the everybody loves him. The, the fans love him. The ladies love him, bro. They say <laughs> he looked like Oscar De La Hoya. They say he's the next, yeah. the next Golden Boy. So man, that's big. Golden yeah, Boy boxing on Mexican. Holiday weekend yeah. with Devin Haney, weather, bro. Hey, Mayweather, weather's we forgetting Devin's fight today, bro. Weather, what you say? No, I was saying, um, you know, how do you think he would fare against Devin Haney? Or because I think he wanted to fight, I think Ryan Garcia wanted to fight Tank, but how do you think he would fare? 
against Ryan Garcia. Man, let's, let's, Ryan Garcia, what he, what, what, what with Ryan Garcia? At? You're lightweight, right? Whatever. Ryan Garcia, he's fighting that. I feel like, I feel like he's fighting at one thirty right now. But yeah, you got to yeah. think about that, EJ. Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney fought s- six times in the amateurs. So Devin yeah. Haney, did, yeah, he fought. You know, he he did fight in the amateurs because him and Ryan Ryan Garcia fought six times. They're three for three. So I got Devin Haney in my book. Devin Haney will beat him. But you know what? First we gonna have Devin Haney knock out Lomachenko. Beat beat him for all the belts. Devin Haney becomes the champion, and then he fight Ryan Garcia for all the belts. So you looking at Delahoya, Oscar Delahoya versus Floyd Mayweather Jr. all over again. Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. The next Floyd Mayweather versus Oscar Delahoya. That's a big fight because, you know, that fight broke all the records at the time. You know, that's the only time Floyd Mayweather was a B-side. That that was the last time when Floyd Mayweather fought Oscar De La Hoya. He was the B-side. He beat De La Hoya, became Money Mayweather. So we, we got to think, think about that, bro. Wow, yes, that yeah, that that would be good. I mean, build that fight up, yeah, hundred percent, man. Shout out to you guys in the chat, man. I know you guys ain't dropping no comments; you just listening right now. But I mean, hey, a hundred percent, hundred. I hear what you're saying, bro. I hear what you're saying. Um, yeah, man. Christian Lowe is the artist formerly known as as Tom the Cat. <laughs> What's up, bro? Hey, listen, it' gonna be good. Good fight night. Um, H Money. I'm gonna leave it as that. We we gave the fight fans. What they want is we're gonna cover the media workout. You know, we're gonna look at Devin Haney hitting the pad work. We're gonna look at the Russian kid hitting the pad work to give us more breakdown of what we're gonna know. And then coming in press conference, and like I said, the way we're gonna cover, we're gonna cover fight night, and we go all the way for Devin Haney, bro. Devin, Devin, what's it? De- is it Devin the Dream or the Dream? Is it the Dream Devin Haney? Which one? Are you no, De- Devin the Dream ha- Haney? Okay. The Dream. Yeah, the dream, yeah. bro. New, new money, bro. The guy, spectacular, man. Only twenty, only twenty years old. Following the footsteps of Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali, and Roy Jones Jr. You know what I'm saying? And Sugar Ray Leonard, a great fighter, a great, a great champion. In and out the ring. In and out the ring, bro. Hundred percent, man. Well. On that note, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to play us out with Connie Fing. Last words for you, man. Last words, Mr. The Zone. Mr. Mr. Matrim. <laughs> I like that one as well. Mr. Matrim, Mr. The Zone. Last words for you. It's money. Money, money, money. Money. Last words. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like that. I'm off to pay that. I'm off to pay that. I like how you said that. Um, <laughs> you know, everybody tune in. This this must be t- yo yo yeah, EJ. Go ahead. Yo, you hear me? Hear you clear? Go ahead. Yeah, you know this, this Friday, September thirteenth, must see TV. Devin Haney, the next Floyd Mayweather, is going to put on a spectacular performance. You know what I'm saying? Winning in spectacular fashion once again. The guy has what it takes. He has the skills to pay the bills. You know, shout outs to Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing. Hundred percent, man. That, on that note, we are gonna play out with Courtney Sun. Yo, man, playing out with some 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 soulful music. Thanks for coming over, with Mr. Matchroom, Mr. The Zone, H Money, your boy. Thanks for coming over. I'm EJ Boxing Live. Thanks to everyone in the chat, and we're gonna catch you soon. Peace. I'm mm-hmm.
acknowledge the problem, then maybe we can solve it. Man. Hey, I can speak. Oh no, please don't bother. The pain too deep between you and me, don't let it go no farther. I respect you like my mother. You love me like your father. We barely knew our parents, so that made our job was harder. By the blind, we both was broader. No love is what they taught us. We reciprocate the hate we learned, and somehow they still bought us. All we needed was some tender love and care. Like your brother, our friends have separated, but we still ain't left each other. 